Hello everyone, it's Lola here again. I welcome you back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making akara, which is also known as bean cake. The reason why it's called bean cake, I don't know, but I just want to show you how to do this in a very easy way and a little bit of tweak to the original. So let's get started. Here I have my black eyed peas. I'm using the regular black eyed peas, nothing special. So what I'm going to do right now is just to soak this in some water. You want to soak this in enough water just to cover the whole surface of the beans. And at this point, I'm going to be leaving this to soak for about, let's say 30 minutes to one hour until the beans swells up a little bit and by the time it swells up you're going to be able to you know peel it easily with your fingers and i'll show you in a little bit all right so this has been soaking for about 30 minutes now and at this point as you can see i can easily peel it with my fingers so this is exactly what we want there are two ways to do this you can either use your hands to scrub this just like this and the skin of the beans is going to fall off easily and the second way is to use your blender i prefer using my blender because it's way easier using your hand takes a lot of time a lot of energy i don't want to go through that again i've been there when i was a kid mm, i'm done i'll just use my blender right now and show you how i easily peel this all right so i'll just go ahead and add this to my blender a little bit is fine you don't want to fill the blender at this point because all we are trying to do is just to peel it so we need a lot of space for the beans to travel around go ahead and add some water as you can see the quantity of water i added is way more than that of my beans and we are going to do this in a couple of pauses remember we are not blending it i'm trying to split the beans so that the skin can easily fall off so let's go Honestly, this doesn't take time at all. About five to six pulses and everything is done. So the next thing I'm going to do is to separate the skin from the beans. And to do that, just kind of swirl the beans all around and the skin is going to float on top of the beans. And go ahead and separate the water just like this. So this is what I'm going to repeat over and over again. It might take like five or six times, or you know, just when you see the base is clean, that is when you stop. The beans is getting cleaner, but we still have some skin that are kind of stubborn. So at this point, I will just use my hand to kind of peel the skin off the beans. Now at this point, I think my beans is clean enough. Honestly, you don't have to be perfect when doing this. It's okay to still have a couple of you know, stubborn skin floating around. It's okay. It's not going to affect your akara at all. So that being said, I'll go ahead and rinse this one more time with a fresh clean water. Then we'll go ahead and blend it. So guys, before I blend my beans, I just want to show you the outcome. So, so clean. I'll be adding two habanero peppers and some onions and of course my garlic. Today I'm using four cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water. This is akara we are making here so a little water is enough. You don't need so much because you want the butter to be quite thick. So just go ahead and blend everything together. So here we go, our beans is well blended, can you see? So I'm going to go ahead and pour this inside my bowl. Can you see how nice and thick the butter is? Very nice and thick. So this is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my hand whisk and I'm going to whisk this until it's very light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. 
So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my salt and my seasoning powder. Once again, I'm going to mix that together with my hand whisk. So at this point, the akara is really light and fluffy. So next up, I'm going to be adding my diced bell peppers. This is just for you know, some color and maybe a little bit of extra nutrition. Then I'm going to be adding some really minced onions. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and use my spatula to kind of fold all the vegetables inside the akara butter. So this is the point where my mom taught us to be tasting it. You just kind of put your hands maybe by the side of the bowl and taste it. If you feel you need a little more seasoning, go ahead and do it at this point. And please be careful of the salt. A little goes a long way, so I have to you know, sound that note of warning. Our batter is all set, but before we fry, I'm going to be adding my shrimps. I've got about a pound of shrimps here, which I've already boiled with salt water. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that in as well. When you're folding it in, you have to be careful. You don't want all the air you've incorporated to deflate. So just kind of fold it in and don't stir it aggressively. All right, so we're done. It's now time to fry. Okay, so my oil has been preheated, is nice and hot. The next thing is just to scoop my butter inside the oil. I have this fancy spoon, it's a ice cream scooper. You really don't need this, any spoon will work, okay? So just go ahead and scoop the butter. Make sure you get at least one shrimp inside your spoon and place it inside the oil. And make sure you also don't overcrowd the oil so that you know, all the akara balls will be able to swim freely. All right, by the time you see one side is browning, then it's time to flip it over. Can you see these golden brown and crispy balls? So good. So here we go, guys. Our akara is all done, or bean cake, as some people call it. So um, before I dig into this, I like to show you how it looks like on the inside. So good. So um, akara goes so well with pap, sauces, you know, bread, and you know things like that. But today I'm going to be dipping mine in salsa sauce. Mm. so so good you really have to give this a try guys thank you very much for spending your time with me today i hope you enjoyed every bit of your time as much as i do talking to you until next time i'll talk to you shortly bye <laughs>